This is the DJI Cellular Dongle 2, and it allows you to connect up a SIM card to access the 4G network to enhance your range with either one of these drones, either the DJI Air 3 or the DJI Mini 4 Pro. As I showed you in the initial video, all you've got to do is remove the battery from the Air 3. You then loosen the two screws under here. It comes with an included screwdriver when you get the Cellular Dongle 2. And then you basically just pull off this back piece here once it's loosened like so there we go and then it exposes the location where you can put in the cellular dongle too so you plug these into the dongle itself there's these two little pins here so you connect that up it then plugs in via an included USB-C again they've obviously thought about this and planned this since the release of the Air 3. The final few steps which I showed in the other video is just connecting up to a personal hotspot or a Wi-Fi so the controller actually has to connect up to a personal hotspot in this instance here and then you would you know go down to the Wi-Fi settings make sure that it's connected up so it's connected up to the Danj Tube hotspot, which is my phone. And then from there, you'll see on the screen, there's a little 4G icon. So I can tap on that, and then it gives me the option to enable the enhanced transmission. Now it gives us the whole warning message, which I read in the previous video. So once that's enabled, we can now see in the top right corner, I've got 16 satellites, 17 satellites, and I've also got a 4G connection. And the RC signal as well is full bars right now. So basically when the RC signal drops, to zero bars, it will then switch automatically over to the 4G connection, which is what we're gonna be testing out today. So we've got the drone launched up in the air. Uh, I chose a location with a lot of trees just because I know that the reception or the signal from the RC controller will drop out pretty quickly. And then that's where we're gonna be able to test out the 4G here. And there we go, weak signal. It has now completely dropped the RC. It's still just holding on, <laughs> only just holding on. There we go. So it says weak signal, adjust antennas, remote controller signal may be blocked. But we can now see, even though I've got no RC connection right now, I can see that I'm still able to fly in 4G. So it was stuttering just a little bit there. But now we can see we've actually got the cross through the RC. So if I tap on that, it actually says disconnected, right? But you can see that I can turn around and I still have phenomenal reception. No issues or, or sorry, transmission, not reception. So I still have amazing transmission here. No issues at all with uh, like latency or input delay or anything like that. It's very responsive. I noticed just before it dropped out though, there was a tiny bit of delay as it was losing the RC and then it immediately switched over to 4G and 4G's full bars on both sides, 4G is completely, perfectly fine. So it says RC signal weak, unable to disable enhanced transmission. So now it's purely depending on the enhanced transmission, purely depending on the 4G connection. And you can see that we've got no issues. Right, it's got no issues at all. Similar kind of experience in terms of the input, in terms of the responsiveness, in terms of just the whole experience. So phenomenal in this kind of situation where there are a lot of trees around and where the signal does drop out. Uh, great kind of scenario here because it just switches over. You don't have to think about anything. And as you can see, a very reliable experience. I haven't had any issues at all. And as I start to fly back, I'm curious to see what happens because there will be a bit of delay as it switches from the 4G back to the remote controller. So there we go. The remote controller has connected again, but there is a little bit of latency because it's just at the, the, the end of what it can actually handle, basically. It's on the lowest point of the transmission. Um, so it is gonna be dropping out a little bit as I fly back. And so at this point now, this is what a lot of people were saying in my video. Um, I wasn't actually fully testing it with the 4G. So you just saw the test there where it does drop out from the remote controller and purely switches over to 4G. And it was great. There was definitely a little bit of delay there. So just at that end point, just before it switches to 4G, there's a little bit of delay there. It's a little bit awkward, a little bit fiddly, but then straight when it switches across, it's unbelievable. Like it's just reliable, it's consistent, and it feels like you're just flying it normally with the remote controller. So great for people who are in built up areas where you do find that, you know, the the feed drops out a lot or you're noticing that the remote controller signal is dropping pretty quickly in a built up 
area, you know, perfect example of where the 4G dongle uh, would be phenomenal, the DJI Cellular Dongle 2. So that was it, nice and simple, brought it back to myself now, uh, very easy flight, and it was great to see how reliable it was.